we also have a, a, a power section here. So here is Giorgio Gallo. Uh, hello, hello, Giorgio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Again, Giorgio is a very, very well respected person within ST. I don't think there's a, 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 a person within ST who doesn't know Giorgio. He's a, he's a famous guy. Thank you. And Giorgio is specializing in the power products. So, Giorgio, maybe you would like to show something that of what, you, what sure, you're showing sure, and telling sure. the customers about power. Uh, I'm Giorgio Gallo, I'm based in Italy and technology specialist. I'm taking care about uh, uh, power solution and especially high power solution. And uh, we love uh, ST for several reasons. First of all, we speak also Italian so together with some of the colleagues, but uh, uh, ST solutions are perfect, especially for high power and new technology are great. Wipe again, uh, silicon carbide and uh, gallium nitride uh, solution are, are perfect. Here you, you can see a uh, uh, solution also from the uh, support point of view. We have a lot of reference designs for uh, customer developing uh, battery charger for electrical vehicle. We have bi-directional solution. This uh, board is shown at uh, STM Boot today. And uh, so we are receiving a great support even from the uh, technical point of view, software point of view, firmware point of view. Uh, ST is able to, uh, to support our activity to accelerate the customer design. You what know, are we seeing here? Oh, this is a bi-directional interface uh, for a number charger. So you desire to have a number charger in your car. This is the front end. This is the part of equipment connected to the grid. So when you plug the, your car in the, the grid, so this is the front end. So also the energy into the car. You move the energy from the car to the vehicle, and in the future you will move the energy also from the vehicle to the grid. By direction. By direction. One way and the other way. So uh, ST making components that are very reliable for high power stuff. Yes, absolutely. There are, uh, let me. So, what, what is very good about uh, ST is the <coughs> solution are very reliable. First of all, in this kind of technology, so we're talking about silicon carbide, is the number one in the world. So, uh, the quality is extremely high, and uh, ST can demonstrate the, the quality and the reliability based on facts. Fast means there are uh, many keeping in the field and uh, ST can demonstrate the reliability of the product not because number of paper but because the, there are a lot of equipment working properly since here and uh, many of us are uh, using this kind of equipment or uh, are driving this kind of vehicle. So. When, when you do projects with high power, are you a little bit nervous? Something mm -hmm. goes bad? No, no. I'm uh, dealing with power since the very beginning of my career. I used to develop equipment for uh, uh, for aerospace, airborne, uh, this kind of application. And so I'm not nervous. So it's just a matter of uh, you need to be comfortable in dealing with power. And um, you have to work together with the other. Of course, you have to involve also the people having more competencies, uh, competencies specifically on uh, maybe on a certain part, like uh, let make an example. Uh, for example, this is a new package the ST developed it, and uh, it's very smart because the, it is the only SMD module available in the market today, it's top side cooling. So this is something new for me. Uh, with ST, we are working together. I'm, uh, I'm, calling, the, I'm calling the people, the, the people are supporting me because Maybe I never used this kind of package, and uh, I'm receiving all the support I need to, to converge and to develop something for, uh, for my customer. Uh, sometimes, is it like you have the connection with the customer, they have requests, you have requests, you get it over the ST, they make you a project, and it happens after a few months or a year, or how does it work? No, uh, typically, so, um, we receive input. In certain cases, we receive input from customers, in certain cases, uh, uh, we also identify the customer that uh, are potentially you, uh, good customer for certain technology. So uh, we are uh, proactively engaging some customers. Sometimes, sometimes we are, we are receiving input from uh, from customer because they have a special need. So what happened next is uh, typically I'm dealing with my counterpart in uh, in ST. We discuss about the project, the need, 
Also because we have a visibility much larger than the visibility they have a uh, customer have. So uh, typically we interact, we discuss one to each other, we prepare the meeting, we prepare the, we decide how to properly approach the customer depending on the needs. And maybe the customer has the need, uh, technical needs. Maybe also there is something related to the fact that the customer has to do something. Uh, we take into consideration several aspects of the project, not only the technical aspect, but also the uh, the commercial aspect. When the certain part has to be has to be has to move into production. So, and typically we are working together. So now, no special secret. Working together, discussing together. And uh, supporting one to each other to find the best solution to, to help customers to converge. Of, of such cooperation is we, we, we were we were we were doing EV charging webinars together, for example, earlier this year, and we're planning to do more of those webinars to so that Sidica can bring their customers closer to our products, and uh, and we can win together some nice opportunities and make sure that those customers are using uh, the latest and greatest technology when it comes to the EV charging or charging in general. Uh, without asking for any secret specifics, uh, I guess there's some really cool projects. People do amazing stuff, and you know about it, and you help them make it happen. Sure. Uh, especially for new technologies, so silicon carbide and gallium nitride, there are uh, many cool projects, and uh, I'm sure we'll see. Also, you will see something on the road soon. Uh, typically, we have an NDA in place with the uh, customer, we are, uh, and uh, ST as well. And uh, we are working together, so I'll say uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, often we ask information, detailed information uh, to customers, because maybe we have some good solution in our pocket, but the solution are not public yet, because the market is very competitive. So it is happening, and uh, we are already aware about uh, some product which will be available in the market maybe during the next uh, one, two years. And we're working daily with this kind of... What's in the market next one, two years? Can you come with the ah, you will... information? No, <laughs> oh, what do you really want to see? Nicholas is what trying to probe about? you for some no. secrets. Okay. Uh, the, the, the stuff will be faster, smaller, better and cooler. No, I'll, it, I'll say... And cheaper, right? And... I'm joking. <laughs> But for the customer, I'm sure it will be, because if things are smaller, then you need to use a smaller heatsink, yeah. then you need to use smaller components, uh, it's lighter, so the eventually the customer will be driving a lighter car further. Uh, okay, the, the car might cost a little bit more, but if it's, if it's no, you better, will then they will save some money. No, uh, sure. So what, what is happening is vehicle electrification, for example, is a, um, uh, is a mega trend, it's evident. It's not just related to the electrical vehicles, uh, but uh, many other vehicles you may have in the, um, we may use. For example, the, uh, the the small tractor you find in an airport or the forklift you find in an industry. And so, uh, all many vehicles which has been mechanics in the past are becoming electrical. Uh, you have more efficient. Uh, more green, you are not producing pollution. For example, you have a forklift uh, moving in uh, an area like this one, they are producing pollution. So, uh, there is a, the need uh, for electrical vehicle yeah. is evident not only because the efficiency, the noise, but also because there are uh, people inside, and uh, of course, you don't want to smell uh, fumes and stuff. You smell fumes, yeah. or maybe you have also small equipment to clean up the floor. So. I'll say there is a there are mega trends. All uh, all vehicles, and not talking just about cars, but buses, or something to move the aircraft from the aircraft from the parking place, exactly. or uh, equipment to clean up the floor will be will be electrical. And this is a mega trend. Uh, and uh, ST has perfect solution, number one in the market, best part. We are receiving the uh, a great support. So. There are many good reasons to, to work together. So. Thank you very much, Georgia. Hey, Marcelli, thank you, right. Marcelli, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, thanks. Hey, thank you very thanks, much. Thanks, Nicolas, for, uh, thank for having Nicolas. us here.